Designing in Cloth 3D is really fun, don't you agree? But have you ever tried or wanted to add realistic embroidery to your creations? If yes, but you don't know how to do that, then keep watching our video today. Hello creators, welcome back to Attiration, a platform where you learn so much about designing and fashion. In today's class, we will show you how to create embroidery in Cloth 3D without using any other software. So, stay tuned and watch this magic happen. Before we start the class, let me tell you that you can create your own graphics by using Photoshop and Illustrator as well. We have taken a detailed class about this, so you can watch it if you need some guidance. You can find the link in the description below. Also, if you don't know about graphics and texture and how to use them, then you can watch this video here. You can create your own graphic by following these classes. I have created this bow for a project and I think it looks pretty cute. If you want to know how I made it, then you can contact us through Instagram. Our handle is at the rate attire underscore Asian. For this little cutie, I have selected one embroidery design that is cute and simple. Do you like it? Let me know in the comment box below. Are you ready to work on it? Let's go. First, we need to add this image as a graphic over the bow. It will help us to set the placement of the embroidery. I will show you the basics of each types of embroidery to keep it simple. Our graphic is set now and we will create one line over it to depict the shape of pattern. Can you see how it looks like a real flower? Let me remind you that we have some related videos for you in the description below. Why don't you check them out after this video? We have created a small line for each stitch of the pattern. And now we will work on the leaf area. Adding embroidery is a work of precision. That's why you have to learn yourself which shape or line is correct to create similar embroidery. For the center part, we will create a circle or an ellipse, which will give the appearance of a French knot. We can make the rest of the changes later. Now we will reduce the opacity of the graphic to set the right embroidery. For now, we will apply the same top stitch over all the lines and we can make the rest of the changes later when we will set its color. The link of this graphic is available in the description below so that you can work with us. Now we will change the setting of our top stitch to make it similar to embroidery. First of all, I will change its thickness because embroidery threads are usually thicker. After that, we will change its SPI, which is the length of our stitch. These values will work differently for each type of embroidery. So, we have to experiment with them. Even the size of the line will affect our rhythm. That's why our values might not work same for you. These embroideries seem too disturbed from their actual position. So, the problem is not SPI, but offset. So, we will make it zero to place the top stitch over the exit internal lines that we have created earlier. Now, we have the result that we are looking for. Let me apply this same stitch over the rest of the shape. Now the other parts is also visible but the French knots are missing. 
That's why I will add a new top stitch for them. Let me apply it over them. Changing the value of FPI is not helping again because they are in the circular shape. So we need to select Edit Top Stitch Tool to select all the ellipse shape. And from Property Editor, tick on Curved in Corner section. We can even reduce its value to 2 to make the shape visible. And if it is not shown yet, then we can tweak SPI values again. We have successfully completed our task. Now we can simply change its color to make it more attractive. But before that, I will change its name. Green for leaves, red for flowers and yellow for central part. The basic shape is ready so you can easily work further. This is the final result. What do you think? Do you like it or not? Please share your thoughts with us in the comment box below. We would love to hear from you. In a few moments, our time-lapse video will start. So have fun. So there you have it. A brief detail about embroidery designing in Clothe 3D. We hope you enjoyed this journey as much as we did. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Till then, keep learning and creating. Bye!